What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Never Go Rev, and back with another PO to pick up this video. And today, we're going to be having two dates for you guys. We're going to be doing finishing off the event date that we started uh, yesterday, I believe, actually, that I ended up recording for y'all. And we'll go ahead and do a um, one of these dates, Belle, Lena, somebody. We'll pick somebody, right? There's a bunch to go around. Maybe Ciara. Who knows? Ooh, there's another Carol date. I actually like her, so who knows? But uh, with all due... Yeah, with all that being said, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of the awesome content that I'm bringing you. And with all that being said, let's get started. Let's see what Shorty talking about. Two days ago, George put off the impossible and secured Jenna's number for you. Undeterred by the arrest, the cute blonde cop agreed to go on a date with you. Oh, yeah. However, she requested it take place at a restaurant out of town in nearby Plumpington. Having arrived early, you've now been waiting half an hour past the agreed time. You decide to text her to see what's up. Are you still coming tonight? Looking forward to seeing you. Jenna responds within a few seconds. Sorry. You hear a car starting up outside. After throwing some cash on the table for your drink, you rush outside. Sure enough, you see Jenna in a car pulling out onto the road. Jenna, wait, please. Jenna makes eye contact with you, sighs, and parks her car. Her window rolls down as you approach. Um, not hungry? Are you standing me up? You may as well stay. Not hungry? Haha, <laughs> something like that. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? No, I don't think so. If that's your decision, then I respect that. As you walk away from Jenna's car, you hear her shout after you. Wait. You turn around and see that she's opened the passenger side door. The least I can do is offer you a ride back into town. Did I not? If you're sure, thank you. Hey, I only offered you a ride. I never said I was sure about it. Jenna grins at you playfully as you enter her car. She drives off down the hallway and you decide to start a conversation. Wait, so how the hell did I get here if I didn't drive here? Where's my whip? That restaurant seemed nice. Have you eaten tonight? Have you eaten tonight? No, I'll probably head home and get takeout. I can drop you off somewhere if you're hungry. Sorry again for giving you the runaround. It's okay, I get it. I knew I wasn't going to go through with it on the drive down here. I should have messaged you earlier, but... Well, you came. But you just couldn't resist another look in my face. Haha, <laughs> maybe. I was of two minds. Jenna gestures to the road up ahead. It's like this. There are two paths. One takes you home and the other... Is more interesting. Hey, that's that's true. She liked that. The road back to the city is on the right. At the last moment, Genevieve's left and heads away from town. Now that's interesting. Where are we going? I have no effing clue. How? Huh? Jenna sighs and bangs her head against the steering wheel. No, I can't. Please. Jenna hands you her cell phone. It's hooked up to her car's video screen. Put your zip code in there. I'll turn around. I don't want to. Please just do it. I've made a mistake. Another one. Okay. You type your zip code into her phone and see the route displayed. Looks like we got to make a U-turn. I'm a cop, so I'll wait until there's a proper place to do so. Because I really don't want to get caught violating traffic laws. Not with a violent criminal in my passenger seat, anyways. Exactly, Jenna. You exactly. See, you understand, shorty. Jenna smiles at you before looking back at the road. That's fair. I'm kidding. You're not that bad. Jenna starts rubbing your leg provocatively. Okay. I just need to keep telling myself to resist the bad boys. I'm not a bad guy. I'm really quite boring. I'm not sure about the boring part, but your friend told me you were decent. What did he say? I promise I wouldn't say, but I could tell he wasn't lying. I'm a cop, remember? Uh, I don't know. George seemed like a big capper. Jenna sighs and bites her lip. So I'm a good judge of character, usually. And what can you tell about me? Jenna doesn't respond. Instead, she gestures up to an abandoned house up ahead. There, we can use their driveway to turn around. Jenna pulls into the driveway of the wrecked homestead. For some reason, she parks the car by the house instead of turning. Jenna turns off the engine and removes the keys from the ignition. We're not turning around, are we? Jenna drags you in for an aggressively passionate kiss. Her... Her butt touches the car's horn, startling both of you. She laughs and stops to take stock of the situation. 
Well, I'm going too far to turn back now. Exactly. Come on, shorty. Jenna gets out of the car and walks around the back of the abandoned house. Follow Jenna. Is she going to break in? You follow Jenna to the back of the property. As soon as you turn the corner, you find her kicking in an old wooden door. And you said you're a cop? You have the right to remain silent. I suggest you use it. Jenna enters the property and fo- you follow her into the darkened abode. Enter the bedroom, she lays down on a filthy mattress. Without breaking eye contact, she begins to remove her shirt. Now, before I change my mind. Okay, shorty. Make love to Jenna. Hey. Hey, you got to take it where you can get it. You know what I'm saying, boys? You climb on top of Jenna and start to make out on the mattress. The dank and dirty conditions fail to dampen the mood as your forbidden love takes over. When you're finished, both of you are here with the clarity of your situation. Let's get out of here before we catch something or someone catches us. <laughs> Good call. This place is gross. You and Jenna get dressed and head to her car. With your zip code still in her phone's navigation system, she drives you back home. The drive back is mostly quiet, save for the occasional pre- pleasantry. When Jenna pulls up in your neighborhood, you lean over for a kiss. She pulls away. You know I can't. I'll lose my job. F your job. That's crazy. Sorry, will I see you again? I don't know. Ah, uh, come on, shorty. You get out of Jenna's car and close the door. Jenna drives off and leaves you standing on the street, wondering where you go from here. Where do you go from here? I suggest the shower. Did you see the state of that mattress? Don't be surprised if you find two cockroaches bunking up in your butt crack. Speaking of getting busy, you, your trip with Jenna was hardly a romantic affair, was it? But it was extremely passionate and a surprise after everything that's happened. Will Jenna look to repeat the performance when the mood strikes her again? That's something only she can answer. However, my feeling is that she haven't seen the last of Officer Jenna. Probably not, especially if we gave her that, you know, that, that good remembrance. You know what I'm saying? You, you put it down and you never forget. Come on, Paul. What's, what's going on, man? Bruh. Don't do this to me now, bruh. Finish. Come on. I got a video to finish, man. What's wrong with a hit of man? Mm, okay. No idea what the heck's going on with the game, boys. But uh, I guess I'll see y'all in a bit once uh, this finished loading up. All right. And we are back. No idea what that was all about. But I literally had to, like, close the whole app out and everything. So, anyways, boys. Here we are. Uh, we did the Jenna date. It was nice. I think because the time reset, like the day reset, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, literally, I wasn't even, like, I was on the last day for me to complete that squad event. So, I think that's what it was. But, luckily, we went ahead and completed it, boys. We got it all done. I wonder if they add Officer Jenna, Jenny, what was her name? No, I don't think they added her at all. Maybe I took too long to finish it, or who knows. Um, Lazy, Leah, Evelyn, Mandy, Estelle, Hannah May, Emily, Faye, Harper, Melanie, Eileen, Evelina, Haley, Ciara, Carol, Belle, Gemini, Salah, Darcy. Yeah, no. I don't know, boys. I guess maybe we didn't get her yet, or she'll come later. Who knows? But, um... On to the next day. Who do we want to do, boys? Um, how about an Andy date? This one's been really interesting. She's like the firefighter girl and stuff. So let's go ahead and go on with the Andy date. The stand in. It's the firefighters union ball. But who will be your date? Hmm, let's find out, shall we? It's the night of the firefighters union ball. You're dressed in a fine suit. You've just arrived at the stadium's function room where the event is being held. Andy is there to greet you, and she looks fabulous in a 90s style cocktail dress. Kev, you're looking great, as usual. Come on, shorty. And you, I love that dress. Oh, this whole thing, I found it in the dumpster. (laughs) Haha, can you imagine? Andy puts out her arm and gestures for you to link with her. Now then, let me introduce you to your plus one. I'm looking at her right now. I'm afraid I'm promised to another tonight. Bruh. Clyde insisted I take him as a condition of renting the stadium. He's very insistent and quite charming when he wants something. I tried to say no, but eh, it was easier this way. Y'all know how them rich dudes be. You can't really complete with them, bro. So I'm here on my own? Nope, I wouldn't leave you high and dry like that. I found you a knockout replacement. You'll love her. I hope so. You and Andy walk into the venue with your arms linked. A dark-haired woman in a sequin dress approaches you both. Her chiseled features make her one of the most beautiful women you've ever met. Kev, this is Charlotte. 
okay, Charlotte, hold on. Yeah, Charlotte look like she work out and, oh, she in the emerald green dress. Hello, Charlotte seems shy. Hi, Charlotte, pleasure to meet you. And you, I'm sorry if any of this is awkward. Awkward, why would this be awkward? Because you've decided you're responsible for my entire love life. This is true, but have I ever let you down? There was that one time. Ha, I have to hear this story. Well, no, don't. You'll make me seem like a crazy person. He turned up wearing a full cowboy outfit, and he had a lasso, too. What the hell? There's a reason for that. So there's this website called... Cloud approaches from behind Andy and grabs her waist, interrupting her story. There she is, my gorgeous plus one. He kisses her on the cheek. She seems unsettled and removes his hand from her waist. Oh, hey, Clyde. Hello, Mr. Kraft. Mr. Kraft, Mr. Kraft is the people call my father. Clyde extends his hands towards you. I'm regular old Clyde. Great to meet you. Clyde is hinting that he doesn't know your name. Kev, we've met before. We have? At the stadium just last week. Of course, sorry, I meet a lot of new people all the time. Nothing personal. Speaking of which, Andy, I must introduce you to my friends Layla and Gore. Clyde leads Andy away. Okay, I guess it's just us now. Shall we get some canapes? That sounds good. Okay, then. What's a canape? I don't even know what that is. You and Charlotte get some canapes before the main dinner begins. You enjoy a brief conversation, but you can't stop looking at Andy and Clyde. Why? Look at Charlotte, bro. Charlotte tries to get things going by breaking the silence. So then, how do you and Andy know each other? I helped organize the ball. Oh, yes, I heard about that. You did a good job. Thanks. How do you know, Andy? Oh, I always dread answering this question. But since you asked, Charlotte grabs a drink from a passing waiter and downs it in one sip, in one gulp. My partner, Patrick, is sorry, was a firefighter. They were friends. But he passed some years ago. Oh, that's awful. My condolences. Thank you. He was with Andy when he, they were so close. That's why she does what she does today, the martial work. Oh, really? Yes, the building that where he lost his life. Charlotte wipes a tear from her eye. It wasn't up to code, and that's why it collapsed after the fire. Andy's been working hard to make sure something like that doesn't happen ever again. I had no idea. Yep, she's a true friend. Charlotte looks over toward Andy and Clyde. I'm glad she seems to be happy again. Andy is dancing with Clyde and has a massive smile on her face. She does seem happy. She was just as devastated as I was when Patrick left us. Charlotte wipes her eye once more. Darn it, I've gone and smudged my makeup there. Excuse me for a moment. Charlotte leaves. You see Andy look over, then quickly avert her gaze. Grab a drink. You grab a bottle of beer from the bar and take it outside to the stands. You sit down to drink it in the cool night air. Someone taps you on your shoulder. Hey, Kev, I saw you leave. So I thought I'd come and join you. How are you finding Charlotte? I like her. I thought you would. She's gorgeous and funny, too. I agree, bro. Can we ditch Andy? What's going on here? She is, but I'm so confused. I know, but what's going on here? What's going on? What do you mean? Why are you setting me up with her? Because smooth. Andy lets out a deep sigh. Because she's a good person and you're a good person. And good people be des deserve each other. I don't. Andy walks away and returns to the ball. You also return, but Charlotte becomes incredibly boring. So you leave early. What? What does Andy mean by that? Why doesn't she deserve you? Is there some kind of secret lurking in her past that she hasn't told you about? If so, will she be able to get over it and pursue a relationship with you? Or more importantly, will you even want to? At this point, man, I just wanted Charlotte. Dang, man, they can't put that in a date to not give me Charlotte, man. Come on. That's evil work right there, man. They working for the devil. Anyways, boys, that'll be the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the awesome content I bring you guys. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And with all that being said, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.